Hello and welcome to Starter. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today I'm going to be giving you an introductory tour of Starter. First of all, who's this video video meant for? Well, it's meant for people who have absolutely zero knowledge about Starter and simply wants to know what am I actually looking at here. And as you can see here, I'm using Starter 16.1, but no need to be worried if your Starter version is older, they kind of follow the same recipe through all the years. So. What I'm going to show you here, you're definitely going to be able to find back if you have an older version of Stata. So let's get started. What you're looking at here first in the middle is the center screen where all the results that you produce with Stata will be printed for you to see. So everything you type in the command bar here in the bottom here would appear up here. So this command bar here is where you give Stata all the orders, so to speak, what you want Stata to produce or do for you. And over time, you'll be seeing the list of the commands in your history bar out here to the left. So you can simply see, you type in the commands for starter, what you want it to do. Do you want to look at some summary statistics? Do you want to run some regressions or something completely else? The results we put up here in the center and the history of your commands will be shown here. And a really nice feature is that if the command actually ran with no errors, this will be shown in black. But however, if it gave an error and therefore didn't work for some reason, one or another, we don't know yet, right? then it will come up in red. And as you can see over here on the right hand side, we have two smaller boxes over here. This one here is just the properties of the variables. I don't find that very important because you get most of it up from the variable description up here. However, just so you know, in the properties down here, if you click on an individual variable up in your variable list, from where you get the name and the label, you can also see of course what type and format it has down here. And that's also very nice and all. And you can simply get a quick overview of your data without having to look at a data viewer. However, now I said data viewer, what do I mean by that? Look up here up top, you have two buttons up here. They go to the same window, but in a different way. This one is just the browse data editor viewer. And this one here is the, well, edit data editor viewer. So if I just open the browse window, it's gonna open what looks mostly like just an empty Excel sheet. And once you have data in Stata, you will see it all presented here. And you will see each column would correspond to a variable in your data set and each row will be an observation. The difference between browse or browse mode and edit mode here is simply if you can change the values in each cell. So if you're just viewing your data and don't wanna, well, by accident change one of the values, you just go in browse mode. If you go in edit mode, as you see, it even gives you a warning. And if we go there, if you then can decide, I wanna change the value of a given cell, then I can do so no problems. Now let's go back to the browse mode. And over here, you can see if you hover over this here, for instance, my viewer here, you can get again the properties of the variables. So exactly the same as you saw in the main window, the list of the variables yet again. And of course, also just a snapshots here if you would have saved any of such. That's actually how the data viewer on its own would work. Let's close the data viewer first here. Then one more important thing about Stata is the do file editor. And where's the viewer and editor here, browser, browse, look like an empty Excel sheet. This just looks like a notepad. So if you are used to write in very old notepad scripts, well, good news for you. You're going to get something that should seem very familiar. This, as I said, is the do file editor. And this is where, at least in my classes to come, we're going to be used a lot here because we're going to write all the commands in here, which can then be produced and started simply by pressing this execute do button. That is, this can actually work like some kind of a cookbook or a recipe. And you can tell Starter a list of commands that I can execute in a row simply just by pressing up here. This will just save in a simple text format, so it's very nice to use. Okay, let's close this one down and look at the menu tabs up here. Of course, we have the standard file tab here from where we can import different data sets. We also have a set of example data sets. Here was the import from different types. We also, of course, can export. And of course, we can simply just open data sets we have directly in a starter.dta format. Here you can, of course, edit different things. You have the data viewer here, essentially, so you can go back to the data editor or browse. So you also have a drop down menu for everything you do up here. In my opinion, starter falls somewhere in between when it comes to whether you're doing this on your own or you have a drop down menu to follow. Because look up here, no matter what kind of statistics you want to do, time series analysis, binary outcome, linear models, or whatnot or just graphics or simply just to manipulate data, Stata has everything in a drop-down menu here. So if you do not ha happen to know the exact command code, right, 
then you can just use the drop down menus and the code will be displayed here as the results are printed. On the other hand, if you then happen to know the programming code or the actual command lines, right, you can simply just type them directly in here or just go back to your do file editor and type them in here. So I like to say, or I like to, you know, feel like start somewhere in between, like say if you have a more program heavy statistical software like R in my opinion, versus a much easier one like SPSS. Start to fall somewhere in between. So you can still do all the things you would like to do. You have the drop down menus if it's a little lost, or you can just simply go to the command line directly. Last but not least, you can of course change your window and change you know, what kind of layout, what do you want to see? And of course it has a very extensive help feature. This here today will conclude my quick overview of Starter. I hope it was useful to you to at least figure out, hey, what is what, what am I looking at here? And I hope to see you back for a future video. Until next time.